So, so much of real estate is psychological. I was a psych major a couple of times in college and I, I, I just study human behavior, not at like a scientific level, but literally those are the books I love to read. And that's, those are the conversations I love to have. It's just, why are you the kind of mom you are? Why are you the kind of friend you are? Why do you buy the way you buy, spend the way you spend? What drives you? What is the mode? What drives our behavior? And the scary thing is so much of that is not conscious. And I just, I believe it, but I think scientifically it's, it's fact, right? At a very basic level, you don't think about your breathing. Your body just does that for you. I think we don't think about lots of things. We go to the same restaurants. We talk to the same people about the same things. And we might not even, we almost never consciously know it. It's just our autopilot takes over. And our autopilot is built based on our life experiences and you know, the things that shaped us as kids and the, the big, big, big moments as adults that we kind of put a flag in the ground and said, that's who I'm going to be. But we're not thinking all those thoughts every day. We're thinking, I don't spend money on things like that, or I'm not that kind. I would never live in a home like that. Those are the things that end up driving our split second decisions. So there is a reason I'm explaining all this. That tends to be what drives the market. Enough people start saying, well, this is not a good time to buy. And so a lot of people stop buying. That's what you're talking about when you're getting your mail and your friends walking their dog by and they're like, hey, you know, do you notice there's a sign went up over there? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, it's not a good time to buy. Oh, I can't believe it. I wonder if it'll even sell. Who would want to move now? And all of a sudden, that's what you talk about at work and on the sidelines of the kids' soccer game. And everybody's saying it and you don't want to feel stupid by saying something different. And so you go with the flow and the self-fulfilling prophecy takes over the whole marketplace. This is absolutely true. I mean, I have so many examples. I think it's super fun. Why did anyone buy a pet rock in the 70s? Because everyone was buying a pet rock. It was a rock. So dumb, but also brilliant marketing. So anyway, that's, that's my answer to your question. It's not a satisfying one for most people, but so much of what moves the real estate market for a buyer or a seller is market momentum, stereotypes, the scuttlebutt, you know, what are, what's people, what are people talking about? The rumor mill. 